Hello, hi everyone. It's already getting late over here, but in today's video we will talk about this solar charge controller. Yes, you see there is a nice sunset. This PVM solar charge controller and this MPPT solar charge controller, which is, I believe, just the brand itself. So the PVM charge controller itself it's like five dollar and this is like twelve dollar and both of them has their advantages and disadvantages as per the price this is cheaper this is expensive and both of them if you check in the label it is 60 amps so in the test and same voltage range and in the test we will create charts and in the charts like we will measure the charging how it is charging both of the controllers with the same battery and with the fixed input type there is no solar or i don't have the sufficient solar panel so i have decided that i will use a charger a laptop charger which outputs the same amount of voltage and same amount of amps so the test can be accurate between those controllers and uh, yeah if in the end we will conclude this or that what what is inside and in the end you can decide which is worth to buy it and um, that's it stay around watch the video enjoy it and book the like button so before I, I went further I had to update my tester which is which was based and it is still based in Arduino and I'm using an Ina. 219 let me see if, if i can find the initialization yes this kind of sensor i'm using a, a real-time clock holder that ds 1307 and i'm logging the data in an sd card that's the key i'm logging the data and the data it's measured and it is compared uh, but I had to create a new version, which is a version 2, it is an updated version, I'm logging it, the, the timestamp, the milliseconds, it doesn't matter the milliseconds over here, but uh, anyhow I am logging, uh, the bus voltage, the current, how it is behaving, and the power. So basically the voltage and the current gives us the key values. So I have converted from milliamps to amp and uh, from milli what to what uh, it is more accurate more reliable in the display section and um, i'm logging the data to the sd card but there is a key difference compared to the previous version of the code if you have seen my other video i have updated the logging and the lcd refresh time so i'm refreshing the lcd time in every second of time it is more accurate we don't really care about the LCD, the key is the data logging, which is 10 milliseconds. So I have a really high frequency data. If in 10 milliseconds, I'm logging every data, what the Arduino and the sensor and the SD card it's capable to provide. So we, we are ending up with a ton of data. Just for an example, like one data set of of, uh, of the PVM which is the smallest one it is like 6 megabyte it doesn't seem to be a lot but if you open it up with a text editor or with a notepad let's see if it's capable to handle it then you have like every 10 milliseconds data and you are ending up with Let's see an example, like almost 153,000 line items, so almost 54,000, like 154,000 line items, which is a lot of data, to be honest. So if you consider this, then data is the key here. And whatever comes out the data from the data, it is not lying. So first I started with the charge and 
discharge cycle of the MPPT solar charge controller and uh, I have attached the battery and the adapter what I have shown you in before in a, in a small clip and for the discharge I have used an LED band and the LCD was there for me just to track what is going on with the battery and that in a 219 to was was my sensor which is pretty accurate to be honest uh, sometimes it was out of the limits but it was showing maximum and uh, I will speed up the footages for all the tests but uh, he, trust me I spent like ton of time like I don't know three or four days at least with uh, those tests as next it was time to test the PVM solar charge controller which a bit basic compared to the MPPT uh, AliExpress MPPT it's it's not an MPPT solar charge controller you will see later in in the in the final results in the trending because it's it's the same behavior but yeah i have i have tested the pvm uh, solar charge controller the basic charge controller and um, the same charging and discharging with the same uh, principle using the adapter as an input and the led the same led band to discharge the battery so yeah, here, are, here is the data. This is the MPPT cycle. This is the PVM cycle. And there are two log files, which is uh, charging, like uh, charging as inconsistent charging. I have tested the charging part with the MPPT solar charge controller and the log files. It, I hope it is more consistent, but let's see the trends and see in details. Uh, for the trends itself, I have created uh, Python code which is more reliable um, for me it was easier than use an Excel or use uh, some kind of visualization tool it's using the the plot here is like the reading the CSV files and we'll um, plot the data for all the CSV files itself but let's run it if we run then that is the the first cycle so if you if you see the MPPT cycle CSV data it's pretty frequent there is uh, in the end we, we don't care really care about what is happening in the end and between those those two days like there was one day and uh, a few hours uh, but what we're gonna focus is here this is our charging cycle at that slot and here is the discharge and if we zoom in in the charging cycle it's very interesting to see what is happening so this is how the voltage is increasing the data it's a bit noisy but it's really visible it is up and down up and down it's very very similar to the PVM behavior because it's a PVM so as you see this is fully a pvm behavior of a charge controller and um, let's go back let's talk about the discharge of the mppt solar charge controller and the discharge it's like over here we see that there was a drop like uh, i i just uh, plugged out the the charging and i have connected the led band and if I zoom in again, the battery, it's, it's not the newest, but you can see that the voltage is dropping and it is consuming the current. So yeah, that is how it has been behaved with the MPPT solar charge controller in a cycle. Let's see the PVM one. So the PVM one, it's a bit weird like the data it's more noisy but the same behavior like I haven't connected anything in the beginning and once I have connected something let's see the current then it has just bombed up and down up and down like it has started to to charge the battery with a PVM control 
let's say like control and um, it was the same behavior like the trend it's it's really the same this is when i have disconnected the charging same section like i haven't really connected anything to in in that period and the voltage was regulating like going to the 12.2 range and it was like consuming only the sd card logging a few watts from uh, from the controller since i have connected to the usb port and uh, over here like that's the discharge curve like we we see that the battery is trying to keep up but it is losing the voltage and uh, once it is going down a, a certain threshold like it is losing the current dramatically because the my battery was weak and here it is something interesting like uh, this was a part when the the controller wasn't really able to shut off the load because it was like on and off on and off uh, the led band so this is a clear winner and the advantage of the mppt because the mppt was handling this uh, load after the discharge period much much better it's a bit more advanced so if we move on with the data then the next trend is it's a bit bigger is a charging cycle which is the log csv this is the last charging cycle i let the battery to charge completely um, almost completely like um, i i run let it run a few hours and what we see here that the voltage it's kind of stabilizing and it is consuming less current uh, as, as I expected and if I would let uh, charge more then probably this current would drop almost to zero because the battery wouldn't be able to pick up any more current and I, then I have disconnected it let's see if any other chart will pop up uh, yes this is the last one so I have charged again same test a bit more inconsistently and uh, this is how uh, it behaved uh, as per the data let me zoom in a bit better we see that i have run three test cycles to now it comes to the question MPPT, why it is the solar MPPT, charge controller which is a solar PVM. charge controller solar it's charge again controller. it's a pvm solar very charge important. controller why is the advanced solar, solar charge, charge controller, controller better it, it, because of the menu it is capable to read one. temperature it is measuring how much amps it is ent entering from the funnel and to the load also showing the amps hours and like it's a bit more user friendly in terms of of the visualization aspect other than that is the same charge controller what the basic is and you can select the same type of batteries lead acid lithium ion with uh, three series and four series uh, lithium ion uh, cells and i personally i would go definitely with the pvm mppt solar charge controller basically not the basic one and finally if you would like to see similar videos in the future, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and here are some videos which are related to this video itself. Thank you very much. I wish you a great day.